and welcome to Cooking with Vedro. Today we'll be making shrimp and grits with freshwater prawn that were raised right here in Virginia. I'm glad you could join me. It's going to be a great show. Well, let's get cooking. Welcome to Cooking with Edro. Tonight we're going to be making shrimp and grits. But tonight, not only is it shrimp and grits, but we'll be using freshwater prawns that were raised right here in Virginia in freshwater, hormone and antibiotic free. So I'm excited about that. Now, of course, when cooking, the first very important thing, ingredient is a little wine or your favorite beer for your chef. So it, this is a really simple meal to put together once you got your prep work together. So the fortunate thing about freshwater prawns and the timing of this show is it's August and here on our farm in Virginia within a month we'll be harvesting and we'll have some tasty delicious freshwater prawns. So that's what we'll be cooking with tonight is these prawns. Now these I uh, kept out to show you. I've already peeled the other ones so that was part of the fun prep work we didn't take. So what we have here is a nice big bowl of prawns. Now normally our prawns are quite a bit bigger but this is some tail meat that we had frozen from last year and I like to use smaller prawns when cooking something like shrimp and grits you know the big ones I want to put on the grill or really taste that prawn whereas with the shrimp and grits I'm going to be adding so many ingredients to it anyway that I want a bunch of prawn in my in my meal okay so we got our prawn all prepped so we've already cooked up our bacon, so our first ingredient is to cook up some bacon. And this is center cut, so it was pretty lean bacon. So we've already got that cooked up. So what we're going to do is take our prawns and saute them in the leftover bacon grease. So we're going to heat this back up a little bit here and get that warming up. We'll put this back in the... Uh, refrigerator for the time being. Now the beauty of the freshwater prawns is they're a milder tasting uh, flavor than the, the marine shrimp and I like that because it blends with the the grits it doesn't really overpower the grits so they take with the bacon and onion and the rest of the ingredients that we'll be using to give it flavor those prawns really suck up the flavor without overpowering it. So I like that about prawns. Uh, important if you do have products such as prawn that you find at the market, but if you're fortunate enough to have a prawn farmer in your backyard, well, it'll be time to go get them fresh. So if you do happen to go get them fresh, usually they're going to have their heads on. So we want to take those prawns and make sure they're always kept really cold on ice and on ice till the very minute you're going to cook them. If you're going to keep them for any period of time, you want to go ahead and take the heads off of them. That's what we've done with these uh, that we had put up from last year is uh, they were froze without their heads. So with that being said, we're going to get our skillet heating up here and we're going to be a little decadent. We'll take a little butter and throw in there with it. So we'll get some butter in there. And me, if it was me cooking just for me, I'd put a little Old Bay seasoning maybe in there, but I'm going to make it without it tonight. So, okay, we got our butter, we got our skillet heating up. So we're going to take roughly about a pound of smaller prawns. We got about cup of bacon and we got some cheese and 
green peppers and green onions sliced up. So we got all that ready. We're going to heat our pan up. While we're doing that, we've got about a cup of grits to three cups of water that we already got boiling. So while we're talking about these fabulous prawns, we'll go ahead and move this out of the way. And give us a little stir, dude. And we'll slowly add our cup of grits. And this makes about four servings um, of grits. So, of course, make it to the directions that are on your grits package that you buy. Uh, I use just five minute instant grits, but some recipes call for stone mill grits if you can find them. Uh, but we don't have them here, so we're just making do with just regular instant grits. And of course, we added salt to the water to get it boiling. So, we're going to stir on that and talk a little bit more about the freshwater prawns. Um, freshwater prawns are raised in Virginia, North Carolina, Ohio, Kentucky, Texas. And if you're fortunate enough to be able to go to a harvest, uh, there will be prawn for purchase usually at the pond size. So it's fresh out of the water, you can't beat that. And you don't have a lot of times that fishy taste, and they're lower in the uh, cholesterol. So they're a little better choice. Now we've got our grits heating up here, and I guess according to the package it was about five minutes. So we got, got those heated up here and ready to go, looking all creamy delicious there, if you can see that. All right, so those are... I've done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our cheese and we're going to add our cheese to this hot, steamy pot of grits. Ooh, ah, so yeah, this should be good. And we'll let that sit up in there and melt while we get our prawns percolating on the uh, skillet here. And we're also going to have, we've already made it, I see my wife snacking on it. Is some jalapeno cornbread to go with this fabulous meal. So we got it there. You might want to add a little butter. Of course, if you're watching your weights, you may not want to add a little butter, but we're going to add a little butter just because it tastes so good. And it'll help. Okay, so we got all that. So now we want to set this aside over here and let this cool down. And we got our skillet all hot here and ready to go so what we want to do is basically get our green peppers and onion that we have already diced up and add that to the skillet there get it all nice and hot 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 okay so we've got that going now we'll add our fresh water prawn to the skillets and we'll just get those sauteed up. We'll add just a pinch of butter. So we've got that going here. Now freshwater prawn, we'll have all the links to the at the end of the video. You can uh, actually order freshwater prawn through the Virginia Natural Fish Company. They handle Virginia fresh products, catfish, rainbow trout, and freshwater prawn. So from September 15th through October 15th, uh, if you're lucky in your state, there'll be freshwater prawn available. So we're going to get this really nice and hot here and sear those. Got my skillet. So, next important thing is a little wine while we wait. Yes, I got cooking with Edro. That's actually a nickname, Eddie Cochran. We run Strawberry Creek Shrimp Farm. And uh, feel free to visit us on the web. So, you want to scrape all this good, good, good stuff that you got 
from cooking your bacon, that little brown bits, because what we're going to do is we've got our grits, and once we get our prawn all cooked up here, we will take our grits and put them in a bowl and, and add our shrimp topping to it. So, Grits waiting in the wings. Let's see how they taste. Oh, how do they taste, Bernice? Ah, nice and gritty. Ooh, yeah. So, Bernice seems to think they're fine. I think they're fine. Now we just need to wait on the shrimp. And as the shrimp get closer to being done, we're going to throw our bacon back in there. And that's going to make our topping for our grits. Our cheesy grits with our jalapeno cornbread. Quick easy meal of course is taking me longer because I've talked so much. But the prep work when you get your prawns and you debane them and have them all ready to go. Once you have that together the grits take about five minutes. Prawn probably if I had this skillet really really good and hot ready to roll would take about another five minutes but they're not going to be far off. They're starting to get all nice and white there and we'll show you what they look like. Now the freshwater prawns are a little different in taste than the marine shrimp. They have a little sweet or mild or flavor and as I was talking about earlier that really lends itself well to this dish because the uh, prawn don't overpower the grits and it mixes well with the bacon. It absorbs all those flavors so you get a really nice mild dish without it being overpowering and I like that because you know like I said this is very sustainable the way these freshwater prawn are raised and it's a short process it takes oh from June to mid-September so you're talking a 90 day cycle or so to get a nice product that we can raise so um, you know, you never know. It just might be out your back door. Now, the green peppers we're using, of course, we got lucky and being this time of year that it is, we got some fresh grown green peppers from our neighbor who runs an organic vegetable farm. So it works out convenient between our shrimp operation and this veggie. Veggie! So, what I'm going to do, I like to add a little lemon juice. So we're going to take a slice of this lemon, roll it around a little bit and get it ready to uh, squeeze so we can add a little lemon juice, a little lemon juice, yeah. And we're going to add a little Tabasco, yeah, Tabasco. So, that's my nickname, Edro, like Boudro, my Cajun. So, I'm going to go Cajun with a little Tabasco here. Give it a little kick. If you could add jalapenos if you really wanted to, to give it a little more kick. But, I'm going to hold off on that. And, for garnishing it up, making it look pretty, we're going to cut a couple slices of lemon here. And, we've got a little parsley here that will garnish welcome back to cooking with Edro. our prawns are all done here we've mixed in the bacon you can see we've got all the bacon and the nice nice buttery sauce there all done up and what we'll do now is plate up our grits our cheesy grits So, freshwater prawn will be available. We'll have the link on our website. The Virginia Natural Fish Company will have some fresh prawn for the next few months. If you want to try this dish, I would highly recommend it. This is good stuff. So, we've got our grits. And we'll have a series with cooking with Edra. We'll be cooking 
different freshwater products that are raised right here in Virginia. You never know, they may be cooked right in your backyard. So, alright, what we do next is get us another spoon here that we can... So we'll take our prawns with the nice buttery mixture and we'll top our cheese. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, you can see we've got our prawns with our bacon and buttery rich mixture there. So we got it plated up all nice and pretty with our green peppers. And if you want to be really fancy, you put a little slice of onion and a little fresh parsley topping over it or even some more green onions wouldn't be bad so we could take that and make voila shrimp